Solving an inequality like this means finding the range of values, not just a single value, but the range of values of x, which are going to make this statement true. When I multiply x by 2 and subtract 9, it's going to be bigger than negative 17. I'm going to proceed much like I would to solve an equation. To get the x by itself, I can add 9 to both sides. And on the left-hand side, that cancels out. On the right-hand side, negative 17 plus 9, that number is going to become less negative when I add the 9, so that's going to leave me with negative 8. So 2x must be greater than negative 8. 2 times some number is greater than negative 8, and if I divide both sides by 2, I can see that the number itself is going to have to be bigger than negative 4 in order for this to be true. The more formal way to express that idea is using set notation. So we do set notation, we open up the bracket, and that means a set of all x, so a set of all things represented by x, such that x is greater than negative 4. So that would be our solution set. So we have our solution, but I just want to go through a few examples to show you and give you a little bit of better idea of what we mean. So I'm saying that this is always true. The original equation is always true when x is greater than negative 4. So let's suppose x is equal to negative 3. Then I get 2 times negative 3 minus 9. So that's negative 6 minus 9 which is equal to negative 15, and negative 15 is greater than negative 17. So we can see why that is true. Um, but not just for that, certainly anything bigger than that. If x equals 0, that's a simple one to look at. If x equals 0, then we would have 2 times 0 minus 9, and that's equal to uh, negative 9, which again is bigger than negative 17. So again, our solution, x, it's not a single value because this is an inequality. It's a whole range of values. And I'm claiming each and every possible value that's bigger than negative 4 is going, is going to make the inequality true. Thank you very much.